Hey guys, so it's time to check out this Nissan, let's see here, this Nissan GTR R35. So it has a very, very good speed, 312 kilometers per hour, looks extremely good. It's going to be the first Nissan car that I'm trying out here. Um, Nitro, also the same as the last one I had tried here, but it's quicker acceleration. So that's nice, that's, that's interesting. Oh, I was gonna die. Okay, I died. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's just flying. Oh, he didn't die. Come on, man. See if we can do some long. Oh no, that is so bad. Do I recommend this car? I'm not sure if I do recommend it more than the Austin Martin cars. They feel a little bit sharper in like drifting, perhaps. Could also be is because I'm a little bit more used to them. But this one is at least very very good here drifting when we are here on normal road. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Ouch. Ouch. Having a little bit of bad luck with this Nissan GTR car. Ouch. Still recommended for drifting though, I mean, it's better than many of those other cars. And then also of course it has some extra speed. Oh, there's that one Aston Martin car. How should I be able to beat him? Because he's just awesome. Let's see how this one is flipping around in the air. It's gonna be a flipper. No. Huh, interesting. Oh, it's a car that's... that's it's like this Chevrolet car that's coming on the wrong side all the time. <laughs> Maybe if I do an ultra spin here. Uh, just a little bit slow in the air. It's a little bit hard to handle as well. Probably has some crazy learning curve. I mean, I even crashed up here. <laughs> this would never happen if it was an Aston Martin car. Ah, last. That's not good. Uh, but Nissan, uh, maybe not for me. Maybe not for me. Maybe you. Maybe, maybe it's a car for you, but nah, not for me. Peace out.